Burnett. I'm the engineering instructor at Duncanville High School, and I'm also the director for District 6 in Skills USA Texas. To kind of give you an idea of that area of responsibility, I am responsible for the leadership training and the district competition for all career and technology high schools in Dallas County, South Highway 35 to Waco County. At our last district competition, we had over 800 students registered to compete in over 90 separate events. And of course, one of the biggest things that was involved with that was the basic surveying contest. Now, in conjunction with the Texas Society of Professional Surveyors and Texas A&M Corpus Christi, y'all put on your first geospatial conference for teachers about three years ago, which I was fortunate enough to attend. It was the first conference I've attended in about 10, 15 years where every single minute I learned something I did not know before and excited me. We were already preparing to get a module. A module is not a year-long course, but a component of training that was approximately six weeks dealing with basic surveying attended the conference and I just had a whole new world of understanding that opened up to me. Asked all of the surveyors and all the presentations we made is what do you expect from a surveying crew to come in at the very beginning to know. Once again I have to emphasize this. If you think watering it down to a so-called high school level is what is needed you don't understand us. We really are training our people from the first day they walk out of high school, they are giving you exactly what you want in that career field, including the mathematics, including the personal characteristics, the integrity. Our motto in Skills USA is preparing for leadership in the world of work. That means we expect our people to be immediately useful on the first day, and once they've earned your trust, once they've earned your respect, then you put them in those leadership positions and they've already been trained. Ideally, in a partnership between a surveying company and any career and tech program, you would be able to get a hold of students at the ninth and 10th grade levels, watch them groom, you could have an entire screening process for four years, and then when they graduate you can say, I want to hire you because I know you, I have background with you. And that is what we are about. You've already about. got people being hired out of high school. You've already got people being accepted in internships in three years. Now, we have getting ready to hit the point where we need to hit the next evolution. We have started well, but as with any success, you all know with your companies that when you start out and what you do is one thing. And then when that success hits, you have to re-gear and get ready to revamp. We are at a pivotal point in the career of Skills USA and the Texas Society of Professional Surveyors working together. We now have to shift gears because we are successful and we now need to expand, we now need to get more organized, and we now need to plan for that success because our next step is we have to get other states involved in Skills USA so we can make the surveying competition and the cooperation and the recruitment into your companies of surveyors a national priority, not just to Texas. We're honored and proud to be the first high school in the state, actually the first high school in the nation to teach surveying as an organized program and to first do the competition. From us, we have multiple high schools that are sprouting off on this. and. It just takes a phone call. This is amazing. This is exactly top of the things you get. So you're not just getting a surveyor who can push a button and read some numbers and not know what they mean. You're going to get people that will understand the math process is going uh, behind all of those technical standards and the equipment that you're using. The experience between the students, the experience between the surveyors has been outstanding and they have just fallen in love with each other and what they're doing. There has been numerous schools that have received equipment donations, outright cash donations for things that the, school, that the schools were not able to purchase themselves with their normal what funds. What we need is for you to get involved with us on the things that are not in the books. The simple little things, when you got a tape and uh, metal, tra uh, metal tape and you're chaining everything out for distance, well, measure it three times. Make sure that you get it. Uh, how do you keep a filled notebook? How do you set up the cover page? What are the things you're looking like, once again, not for the high school level, but that you're going to take as your legal documentation as you go back to produce whatever paperwork that you need?